what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's been a while since i did some walking dead um i'm trying to churn out as much reactions as i can do for today i wanted to do all the reactions that i needed to do between yesterday and today but i did not get a chance to do that guys um yesterday my throat was literally hurting me like hurting hurting me like i could not even try to speak but i'm feeling a lot better today after you know drinking lots of honey and you know vitamin c and stuff like that because i've been i was talking all week so i understood why my throat was hurting me you know um i'm also think i'm also going to be catching the uh, um a dose of flu you know what I'm saying? It usually happens to me this time of year because of the fluctuating um, weather conditions here in Miami. So it's like, you know, one day it's super hot. The next day it's super cold. So it's, you know, when you, all year you're spending in really good, you know, weather conditions. And then all of a sudden, day by day, your temperature is switching up like that. Your body is not used to that. So, and you, you know, so I think I'm catching something. It usually happens to me this time of year. So it's the one time a year I know like nine out of 10, I might catch a cold or, or have some flu, flu like symptoms and stuff like that. So I, um, for the most part, I take care of myself. So I'm not worried about that. But anyways, the walking dead so last episode we got introduced to some new characters um you know some people that has come to join the crew and stuff like that we got some pairings beth lost her boyfriend and stuff like that but i'm looking forward to see what's next um in this series to see where they're going with it and and, and stuff like that it was very interesting because um, Carl finds out that they're teaching the new kids, uh, you know, how to use knives and stuff like that. So is he going to rat them out and tell Rick because Rick doesn't know about it because Rick kind of wants the kids there to kind of have some sense of normalcy, um, throughout all this chaos that is going around. So, but I do believe that they should learn something, you know what I'm saying about the, the whole knife thing. They should know how to use a knife i believe in that wholesomely that a kid should know or learn how to use a knife and the thing about it is this you know a lot of people might disagree and all of this other stuff um when it comes on to guns knives and stuff like that but i do believe that you know kids of a certain age need to learn how to handle these things why and the reason and, and the thing about it is this the reason why I say this is to teach them gun safety and let them understand from an early age the meaning, the, the, the value of life. So they don't just go out there and decide, oh, somebody hates me, I'm going to kill them. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it, it's kind of a double-edged sword, if you want to call it that. But I still think it's necessary in this day and age. I wish we were living in an age where I could say, no, it's unnecessary. But it kind of is. You know what I'm saying? Um, so sometimes there's middle ground and sometimes there's no middle ground. You know what I'm saying? Because look at it one side, one sided, it'd be like, oh, we should protect them and blah, 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 blah. But suppose, suppose you leave your child at home, your teenage daughter or son at home um, and somebody breaks in the house. They don't know how to, you know, take a gun off of safety and and stuff like that to know that there's you know one in the house or whatever the situation is um under of course in a safe whatever the situation is you don't understand you understand what i'm saying like now you're worried when they could have protected themselves in some way you know what i'm saying um so it's it's weird you know what I'm saying? Like you tell them, oh, hide under the bed and call 911. Pretty sure every criminal knows that that's what you tell your kids to do. So <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. But we're going to jump into this reaction, man, and see what episode two has to offer. Um, unfortunately, I can't do a double upload today. So, yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, let's jump into this, man. Let's go. See you guys for the review. Okay, season four, episode two. 
It's in the bag. My ears itching me. Anyways, um, that was a pretty good episode, man. Pretty good episode. They have to figure out where this sickness is because it's killing people in a day. And they don't know who's infected, who's not infected. And there's they have a doctor on hand because he identified it. Um, so they have to figure out who has this flu, who doesn't. How are they going to do that? I don't know. People are just, I mean, it's just one problem after the next, man. Oh, man, this show, it, it really, it get down into your bones, you know what I'm saying, into your heart. Really pull at your heartstrings because you're like, man, if you were in that situation, what would you do? You know what I mean? Um, but it seems like at the end here, it seems like um, they turned and somebody took them out real quick, burned them. Um, so I don't know, dude probably going to be mad cause he didn't probably didn't get to say goodbye or I don't know what his situation is, but then she died. He ain't getting none. So, I mean, it was the one night he, you know, probably could have gotten some and nothing, nothing happened. She turned him down. It's like, wait, <laughs> he going to be waiting a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why am I laughing? <laughs> it's just weird to me. It is just so weird to me that. He, he, you know what I'm saying? Like they introduced that into the plot, and then the um, you know, then she just she dies, you know. So Rick and Carl is gonna get back to business, man. And and I do believe I wholeheartedly with that decision that he made not to bother them because they need to learn. And I said this in the beginning, um, in my intro that they do need to learn. I'm not against it. I am not against them learning how to <clears throat> use a knife or a gun. I'm not against it. In a, in in a time like what they're living in, there's there's no room for error. You know what I'm saying? Like you mess up, you die in this situation. So I don't know what this I still don't know what this season is going to be about, but they are setting up something. You know, are they going to be is is this flu thing going to cause conflict because they're separated from each other? What is it going to take? I hate the fact I hate the fact till this day I, I still don't like the fact that Glenn Glenn treats Maggie like she's some sort of helpless person. I hate to see guys do that to women. I don't like seeing it because it's not women don't like it. They don't like it. You know, some women do like to be the damsel in distress, but we're talking about Maggie here. Like Maggie has been through it, man, and she just she just fell over. Like, what are you gonna leave what you're doing just to go help her? All you gotta do is ask her, Are you okay? She says yes. You move on. You know what I'm saying? It's like she literally had to tell him, you know what I'm saying? We're not supposed to touch any target anyways. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, he's been doing this, and he doesn't know how to deal with He still doesn't know how to deal with certain situations with her. And I get it. You love her, but you don't have to smother her. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what a lot of men need to learn, that you don't have to smother women. You know what I'm saying? For them to for, to show love. You don't have to. So, um, yeah. So, um, they lost a bunch of people. A bunch of people we don't really know. So, kind of back to the original group really yeah i'm saying all these new people and kids and stuff like that um what the hell <laughs> just all of a sudden this yawn just came out of nowhere <laughs> but anyways um because i'm not sleepy i literally like just woke up like three hours ago so i know i'm not i'm not sleepy because i got good sleep anyways so it's it's just cool to see um, where this is going. Kind of sad to see him having to kill the pigs, to pull them away from the fence. Um, but they need to actively work, not just, you know what I'm saying? Like, that whole thing, they should have been working on that. Like, throughout the whole day, they just take shifts and take those out. Because what exactly is attracting them over there, you know, is them, <laughs> really, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's them really. And who has been feeding the walkers? Like, that's another thing too. Who has been feeding them at the beginning of the episode? And then they figured it out during the episode that somebody's been feeding the walkers. But who has been doing that? You know what I'm saying? So we still don't know that situation yet. But we'll see what happens. Maybe they're doing that to pull more zombies over there because they probably 
want the prison for themselves. Maybe it's somebody, maybe it's one of the kids that is doing it at night. I don't know. They're bringing a flashlight out there. So it's got to be somebody, um, you know, it could be somebody in the prison, could be somebody from outside of prison, but how are they not seeing this damn flashlight that's shining down there at night? Who's on guard duty? They're supposed to be on guard duty, right? So cool stuff, man. Cool stuff. I'm loving The Walking Dead, man. They, they're doing a pretty good job of writing a story right now. So and things are getting real crazy because now they have to battle a component that's not um, that's not in the scope of dealing with you know, where they can deal with it with, with bullets. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a situation that they have to figure out before all of them just start dropping off like fly because they don't know who's infected or who's not infected. They don't know how fast this thing is spreading. They don't know how you get infected. They don't know if it's airborne. They don't know anything because they can't test for it. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, man, season four, episode two was really good. Um, so I'll do episode three as soon as possible as soon as i get another chance to do walking dead again i will but anyways man thank you guys for tuning in let me know what you thought of this episode in the comment section and also leave a like subscribe if you're new terabyte reacts peace